I'm Carl Thomas. This is my 1976 Cardinal RG. The Cessna Cardinal 177 was first produced in 1968 and had a 10-year run until 1978. 4,295 of the aircraft were built. Cessna was looking for their futuristic style airplane and came up with this clean sheet design. The 177 has good visibility with its slanted windshield. The 177 was originally intended to be a replacement for the Cessna 172. The tail on this aircraft has much more authority than the 172, and pilots transitioning to this airplane from the 172 were having issues including tail strikes and hard landings. In this video, we're going to talk to the owner, Carl, and then take it up in the air for a flight. I learned how to fly back in uh, 1973. As a kid growing up, wanted to uh, learn how to fly. My eyes went bad, military wouldn't take me, so I got, took lessons and, and learned how to fly uh, with the Longhorn Flying Club in Austin, Texas. Flew for about 100 hours for a year and a half, moved to Dallas, and couldn't afford it anymore, it tripled in price. So it took 35 years off, got back into it when my first granddaughter was born. Uh, bought a fixed gear Cardinal, uh, fly it back and forth to Houston to visit them. Flew it for a couple years and decided they needed an RG and bought this one. I've got a client who a, was a blimp pilot at the time, flies everything, CFI, and he said either get a 182 if you want to haul everything, or you might want to look at a Cardinal. And when I looked at the Cardinal, the first thing I noticed about it was this little vent window, similar to what I had in my old Volkswagen back in the 70s, and thought, and it was a good looking airplane and thought, that, that's what I want. And I started drive, flying back and forth to visit the granddaughters in Houston. I've gone to Oshkosh, California, Florida twice, Maine. The fixed gear runs 124 knots. Uh, cruise, typical cruise speed, nine and a half gallons an hour. This one will go 145 knots, nine and a half gallons an hour. And it'll go as high as uh, typically cruise at 148 to 151 knots. It's got the IO390 in it, which was an STC that like Combing and Cessna did together. Uh, put that in about four years ago and it picked up about five knots over the standard engine. Uh, I've had it up to 18,000 feet. I put VGs on it before I painted it a couple years ago. Uh, makes it very stable. Uh, it will cruise, like I said, 148 to 151 knots typically. 8,000 feet, 11,000 feet is kind of the sweet spot. This is a, uh, is a clean sheet design from, from Cessna and it was supposed to replace the Skyhawk, the 172 Skyhawk. They made the first ones fixed gears and they were a little bit heavier had a smaller engine and, were, and a tail that is different. And so they had some difficulties. So the marketing department basically panicked and said, uh, we got to keep flying, we got to keep making the Skyhawks. So this just kind of became the, the Buick of the Cessna line as a, as a uh, second, second plane. They fixed the, the engine problems. They made the uh, engine bigger, put a, a constant speed prop on it. And in 1971, uh, decided to make the Cardinal RG as well. So yeah, it has very slick lines. It's aerodynamically cleaner than, than the Skyhawk. Doesn't have the struts and all that kind of stuff. And we make fun of those people, but we love them anyway. They didn't make that many of them. They made 4,000 fixed gears. They made 1,000 RGs uh, through 1978. And then things started slowing down and they quit making the, the uh, both, both RGs and fixed gears because the economy, and they, they weren't making any money on them. So now they're kind of a cult airplane. Uh, there's a, a flyers group called Cardinal Flyers Online that is very active as a, as a, as a type club and have a lot, of, a lot of people involved in it. We help each other keep the airplanes flying and uh, give, give new people information. And I've learned a lot from them and a lot from friends and whatnot and, and a great airplane to fly. Uh, the IO390 is uh, at least 15 horsepower bigger and horsepower makes speed and also climb, so it climbs better. Right after I bought it, I, bought, I put a, a PowerFlow exhaust, which is a very popular mod as well. It's a tuned exhaust system, and it gets all the horsepower out of the engine. I put uh, uh, Vortex generators on it a couple years ago. It slows down the stall speed, about four knots, and the takeoff speed, and it makes it very stable. And in fact, we can, we can go up and do a slow flight, put everything out, put the flaps out, and it won't stall, I mean, it won't go over. It'll just sit there and just mush going down. It's a very, very easy airplane to fly. The tail is, is a little different from a Cessna, and it's very effective all the way down into the, into the landing zone, so you've gotta be, it's a finesse airplane. It's not one that you push around brut brutally. Like I said, I uh, did that, I repainted it, got a new interior, 
won best in show at two Cardinal events last year. Very proud of that. That was that was neat. Unfortunately, all that stuff's been canceled this year, which is really a bummer. But uh, all right, well, uh, you ready to go fly this thing then? Sure. All right, let's go. All right, we're good. I put this in, I put this in, I put this in last fall. Yeah, it's nice, a nice uh, engine monitor. Yeah, it yeah, replaces all the other. I still, got, I still got three of them. This one will work when I get a new sender from a friend of mine. Roger. Yeah, Mesquite Ground, Cardinal 177 Kilo Mike. 177 Kilo Mike, Mesquite Ground, sir, question. Yes, sir, we're at the North Hangars. We've got Mike, we're ready to taxi up to 18. 7 Kilo Mike. 7 kilo mic, runway 18, taxi via Alpha. Via Alpha to 18, 7 kilo mic, thanks. 428. No problem. We've got electronic ignition on the right side of the buggy. Also, another thing I forgot to say, talk about. But, uh, so you get 100, 180 drop or so on the electronic ignition. Oh, wow, okay. You may see 20 on the mag. Yeah. So what's carrying no, what's carrying the engine? Yeah, the electronic. Yeah, yeah. That's a great addition. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to do that. Uh, fly Need one permission? Eight, fly runway heading for now for uh, one eight. Clear take off six five echo. I think he's coming now. Oh, he's yeah. For yeah. It. yeah. He's he just got clear for takeoff. And uh, Mesquite Tower Cardinal one seven seven Kilo Mike. Seven Kilo Mike, Mesquite Tower, sir. Question. Uh, we're ready to depart to the southeast, and we'll wait for him. Seven Kilo Mike. 7 Kilo Mike, roger. Um, hold short runway 18, he is taking the runway, and then expect to fly runway heading as well. I have traffic coming in from the southeast. I'll point him out once I get you in the air. All right, we'll uh, do that. We were headed that direction. Thanks for the heads up, 7 Kilo Mike. Cardinal 77, Q, or correction, Cardinal 177 Kilo Mike, runway 18, clear for takeoff and fly runway heading. All right, runway heading, clear takeoff 18, 7 Kilo Mike, thanks. November 6, 5 Echo, continue All right, flying. Make sure we're good. Uh, once you yep, climb I'm sort of about 1,500, then your left turn is approved. Traffic coming in from the southeast, you're going to overfly them. Roger that. Uh, I'll say 1,500, left turn approved, and uh, flying over traffic from southeast. 6, 5 Echo, have a good day. 6, 5 Echo, Roger. Have a safe flight. See ya. Cessna, 3 All right, fuel flow, but kind of full pressure at the end. Just departed, they're Air speed. They're climb yeah. 210 horsepower like David. Yeah. Uh, roger that. Uh, this is 3-2 Yankee, and I'll be looking for the traffic. Rotate about 70. So when, when we, yeah, about 65. When we, close, when we uh, fly formation together and climb out, Yeah. it's all I could do to keep up with him. Continue flying runway heading. Once you climb above 1,500, then you can proceed on course. Traffic just departed is the Skyhawk southbound. They're going to be going to the east. Additional traffic, you'll overfly a Cessna coming in at 1,500 from the southeast. All right, so we'll maintain runway heading to 1,500 feet and looking for the traffic. Seven kilo mark, thanks. I like to climb out at about 120, typically 500 feet a minute. Yeah. And, uh, you know, kind of a cruise climb. Yeah, okay. keep that uh, nice, keep the engine a little cooler. Yeah. I don't have any trouble keeping this engine cold. In fact, I got the cow flaps closed. And unless you do a real extended climb up into the teens, yeah. it, it doesn't overheat. Have a nice night. Turn that off. 7 Kilo Mike, were you able to get that traffic in sight to your left southeast bound? Correction from the southeast coming in. I have not seen that one yet. I've got the one in the traffic pattern uh, headed east. He said from the southeast. I'm about a mile and a half from uh, southeast of the uh, airport. 7 Kilo Mike, you're well past him. You can proceed on course. Fingers changes approved. Have a great uh, flight. See ya. All right, thanks, sir. And we'll be back in a little bit. 7 Kilo Mike. I guess he's behind us. Yeah. You don't want to fly it? Uh, sure, want to fly? Why not? Yeah. Great right. Thank you, sir. And yeah, where do you want to go up to? Uh, I'm going to go to four. Four? Okay. Oh, yeah. And you, so you say the uh, the tail on the... I've heard that before. The tail on these is what, really sensitive, so people would yeah. start porpoising or something? Yeah. yeah, obviously it is in the air as well, but uh -huh. but yeah, at low speeds, it still maintains okay. authority all the way into the flare, so... What, what you typically would see would be somebody transitioning from 172 and they would put the nose up and then they just keep pulling back on the yoke. Right. It would stall. It's no, the airplane is nose heavy because of the wings pushed back. Right. 
and you prang the, the uh, firewall, yeah. Yeah. and you do what's called the cardinal hop. You just basically, you're up in the air, levitating about it, 10 boom. foot off, oh, and then, man. now what do you do type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hit that yeah. power and go. Yeah, so, uh. so what they did was they, they, they instituted what they called the cardinal rule, and they, they had like, they made a thousand of them the first year. So they brought everyone up in from the field to the, to the service centers, did inverted slats on the inside of the stabilator to keep that part of it flying. Because yeah. what happens if the tail quit flying yeah. at first. So that was, that. they did that on the uh, 68s and some of the 69s. And then uh, everything since has, had, has that inserted, inverted flap. Yeah. And uh, so that keeps it from stalling, so you really don't have so much trouble. You bring, you bring it in like a big airplane, and just level it off, and bring the nose up and let it settle. And it works just fine. Okay, so our, what, true airspeed's 140 knots, and we're not even fast enough. We're not we're, even... We're not even there yet. Yeah. yeah. No, with this, with this fuel flow, it'll, it'll, like I say, you put enough gas in it at low altitude, it'll, it'll run 151. Yeah, 150 knots right there, true airspeed. Yeah, that's great. It'll do that. It'll do that up to about uh, 8,000 feet, and then it starts falling off. Right. But the gas, the gas consumption falls off as well. And your so. fuel flow is where on here? Uh, fuel flow right here. Yeah, so 11 gallons 11? an hour. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it feels good here. I'll let you take it back. Okay. All right. Your airplane. All right. Let's do, let's do a slow flight. I'll show you what. All right. The, uh, yeah. And it's definitely. A little more, it's a little roomier yeah, in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Than a, than a 172. They're, they're as big as a 182. Yeah. We've got a lot of insulation on the firewall, so you don't see as much as much uh, heat coming off of it. What'll happen, I'm gonna keep the gear up. Okay. But what happens is, is it just, you hear the, you know, the star horn go off. Oh, there's about 60 knots. Yeah. And that's the gear horn. Right, right. And you finally get it to fall. And it just... Yeah, you're at 50 knots right there. Yeah, it's not dropping. And you're sinking 500, yeah. yeah. It'll, get, it'll get worse. <laughs> yeah, so I did this through the cloud, just just, just sat on it yeah. all the way down. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was kind of funny. And I'm tired of hearing all that. Yeah, 50 knots. Anyway, yeah. So That's it's, pretty neat, uh, yeah. It's pretty stable. This is not, yeah. this is not uh, uh, authorized for spins. Right. Oh, it's yeah, you, it's you utility want. class. Yeah, yeah. The fixed gears you can, but not the RGs. are too clean. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't so, want to do that to your instruments anyway. Yeah. They at least tell you to do that. Well, yeah, that's pretty stable. I, I, I wish this airplane had been a little more successful for Cessna. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of the innovations they did on this would be great in their new airplane. I mean, I, they're still doing the 172s and the 182s from the old. Yeah. I mean, they're a little better than they used to be, but I just wish they would have implemented this stuff. A good IFR airplane. Yeah, that's great. I, learned, I got I got my IFR ticket in the fixed gear. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's I think it's pretty important for people to do is uh, especially if you're going to be flying any kind of on a regular basis uh, uh, getting your IFR. I mean, yeah. uh, it, it, whenever you want the utility, you bet. Yeah, I mean, whenever I was doing a trip, I, I just followed an IFR flight plan pretty much any any way. It's that's safer. Good. Yeah. Oh, it is hazy today. Good yeah. Lord. Oh, it's that time of day, too. It's yeah. Getting, yeah. flying right into the sun. Mm. At least it's a north-south one way, right? So you want to be landing into it. Uh, we wired the uh, the uh, call horn and the gear horn, like you heard, yeah. into, into the, the uh, audio panel. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, because otherwise it just comes into a speaker. And you can hardly and hear you, it. You can't, yeah. and I'm, I'm half deaf anyway. Yeah, you can't right. hear it for the... <laughs> for the uh, I'm selectively deaf. I, you know... That's what my wife says. Yeah, right. <laughs> and the ski tower, Cardinal 177, Kilo Mike. Cardinal 177, Kilo Mike, Mesquite Tower. Good afternoon. Howdy, we're back. Uh, we've got November. We're five to the southeast, inbound landing. Seven Kilo Mike, that was fast. Enter the left downwind, runway 18, reported being the talk. All right, we'll see the tower left downwind 18, uh, the Kilo Mike. Seven kilo mic, runway one eight, Quidland. Hi, right, Quidland. Seven kilo mic, thanks. Yeah, a lot of birds down there migrating. Oh yeah, they coming back and forth to the garbage dump. Oh, All right, okay. gas under carriage, mixed with throttle prop. We got flaps coming out. Red light on. Your light tells you that the gear pump's working, or at least got electricity to it. 
How long does it? And then when that goes off, it's about a 12 second cycle. Okay, yeah, I can feel it. Now we got a green light down here. I can feel it, yeah. Got one in the door, got two out the window. All right, yeah. Yeah. Got a little mirror there, okay. Yeah, the other nice thing is you can see out the window, you can see where you're turning yeah. into. White over white, you're out of sight. Yeah, we're carries a red there, that's all right. There we go. Here. here in the door window. Ooh. All right, right on the center line, man. Good job. Uh, yeah. Crappier than I thought. Oh, that's all right. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's still usable. Yeah. All right, right on Delta, right on Alpha. Thanks. Well, thanks for checking me up. It's definitely a nice, comfortable, like, see, it'd be a good cross country airplane. There you go. It is, it is. It's I need very, to give me one of these. Very pleasant. All right, well, Carl, thank you so much for taking me up. You bet. Enjoyed uh, it. Enjoyed it. Really cool thank airplane. You. I do love it. Thanks. Uh, thank it'll, you. When I get back in the market for an airplane, it'll be on the list. <laughs> well, if you need help looking for one. All right, thank we you. Know a lot of help people will help. All right, we'll go fly again sometime. All right, all yeah. right. Well, thank you guys for watching another episode of Flying Doodles. Really appreciate it. Please click that like and thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff. If you're really enjoying the show, it's uh, patreon.com slash flying doodles. You get early access to the videos, stuff like that, about a week early. Uh, you get to see them before everybody else. And there's a couple other benefits coming your way. And uh, guys, thanks so much.